Hello, and welcome to part one of my Dark Souls guide. Um, start things off, as you can see, I'm choosing the Pyromancer class with the Master Key. Um, Master Key is probably the best gift, unless you go with a thief who starts with the Master Key, and then you can uh, pick like Black Fire Bombs or something, which is also good. Anyway, um, get this started. This is going to be more of a. Uh, In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. Decent weapons. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of Lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty gods ruled upon their stone skills. Witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. And Seath the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Thus began the Age of Fire. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless lights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world.
All right. I uh, don't know if it's going to be super loud in the video, but the cutscene volume was ridiculously loud compared to the actual NBA volume. just the uh, cutscene volumes are ridiculously loud. But anyway, um, as I was saying before, this is by no means an expert walkthrough. I have beaten Dark Souls, I think, about three times. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's Dark Souls. There's still those certain bosses, I'm sure you all know who I'm probably talking about, that will give you shit. But this is more of an informative walkthrough just to... Uh, help people who've never played the game before or who want to play and are stuck and having a hard time. This is to kind of help them with that so um, they can hopefully make it through the game. Um, I'm playing on a PC with an Xbox controller. I also have it on PS3. So, a few basic things. Um, B or circle is how you roll and how you run. To roll, you just tap it saw. Tap B. To run, you hold it, and then you can roll out of a run, out of a jump. Um, right bumper, or R1, is your light attack. Depending on your stamina, which is that green bar, um, depends on how many times you can swing your weapon. Um, R2 is your heavy attack. Also, how many times you can do that depends on your stamina. The heavy attack, you can also hit forward and R2 at the same time and do this jumping attack that does extra damage but takes a crap ton of stamina. Now, I don't have a shield yet, so I'll wait until I get to a shield to show you how to block and stuff. So for now, just for shits and grabs, I like that. Alright, so this is just a tutorial level. It'll show you everything I'm showing you, but to let you know all that stuff now before we get to the actual game. Now if you look up there, you can actually see the Asylum Demon. Uh, that was pretty cool. Anyway, now, you're going to run in, and he's going to jump down. Boom. You don't fight him. Because you will not win. Run over to the left, and there's this, like, chain link, or chain fence thing deal that you run through, and it'll shut. Another bonfire here. I don't have to light it, I'm just doing it to do it. Alright, now, through this room, this guy shooting arrows at you. Run to the left here, where this glowing body is, and you find your shield. So you go ahead and equip that. Now, to guard, you hit left bumper or R1. Guarding is very important. But, say I'm attacking, I'm gonna guard. Notice how my stamina bar refills real slow, and when I let go, it fills up fast. And something that you want to get used to is attack and let your stamina bar refill. Like if you're guarding, that's fine, but you need to let your guard down, refill your stamina, and then you can go back to guard. And then R2 is something called a parry. I'll get back into that later. Uh, block his arrow. <laughs> that was a backstab, although it was with a tiny broken sword, so it didn't do shit for damage. But, uh,. Oh crap, pissed him off. Alright, what I just got was my hand axe, which was the, is the Pyromancer starting weapon. Uh, each of the different classes have a different starting weapon. Pyromancer starts with the tattered cloth set, the cracked round shield, and the hand axe. Uh, I don't know the rest. Thief starts with the thief set, bandit's knife, and target shield. Warrior starts with a short sword or a long sword. The heater shield and the warrior set. Knight starts with a long sword, the crest shield, I think, and the knight set. And yeah, I don't know the rest of them. Uh, this guy here, oh, you. kind of an important story, little dude. He you gives know, you I'll your healing you. items. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I are both undead. Hear me out. Select yes. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission, but perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family, Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, 
maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient glories. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know, and I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask, an undead favorite. Now, an Estus flask is your best friend. This is your oh, healing item for the entire game. Now, Estus flasks, no, unlike the well. grass that was in Demon Souls, Estus that. flask you have a limited number of, so and you can and only refill you. them when you visit a bonfire. Um, we'll get into that later as well. Um, unlike Demon Souls, you can't just sit there and buy a crap ton of healing items. So it limits you and it makes you uh, be more wary about how you heal and such. So once he gives you your stuff, you run up here, that guy will immediately attack you. Chop him down, it should be easy. And you'll open this door here. Yeah. Now these little signs here, all of these are developer messages. But when we get to the actual game, people in-game can leave messages on the ground to either help you or hinder you. Um, so take them with a grain of salt because sometimes people can be douchebags and just screw you over. But one of them mentioned uh, pressing Y or triangle will put you into two-handed stance for your weapon. does more damage and it also boosts uh, boost your strength when it comes to holding a different weapon. Like say you have a weapon that you have to have 18 strength to wield and you only have 12. I think if you dual hand it, then you can uh, actually wield it correctly. I think it boosts your strength by... It doesn't double it, it boosts it like one point or something. But it helps, so keep that in mind. Now these guys are just basic enemies, um, although they can overwhelm you if you're not careful. This one mentions parrying. I'm going to see if I can do that without screwing up. When I, what I mentioned earlier was R2 is your parry attack. Now when you... When an enemy attacks, you have a, a split amount of time right before their attack hits you to parry. Which you'll parry their attack, they'll it'll leave themselves wide open, and then you can go into what's called a repost and do critical damage. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. That's a parry. Notice I hit R2 at the right timing. It made it bounce back. And then I was able to hit right bumper or R1. And if do a repost, which does crit damage. And it's really nice. Uh, kind of hard to use. Oh, did I get this pyromancy glove? Did I forget to do that? No, no, I didn't. Okay. Um, those take practice. But once you get used to them, they are awesome. Now, notice I went dual-handed here. When you walk through this door here, you're going to be right above the Asylum Demon. So what you're going to want to do is follow what this message says and use right bumper or R1 while falling to do a plunging attack. Plunging attacks do more damage if you have the weapon dual-handed. So, dual-handed, two-handed. So, this, and right in this face, 320 damage. Now this is just a tutorial boss, although if you're not careful, I guess he can kill you. And if you're new to the game, you know, I mean, first time I played, I think I probably died on it. It's kind of a long way. But, let's see, if you're not careful, he can hit you, but he doesn't do that much damage. So, short little introduction to bosses and, you know, dodge rolling and plunge attacking and stuff like that. So once you get beat him, you get the big pilgrim's key, which is used to open that door. And one humanity. 